moisturize my face with the oil-free acne moisturizer from um, Neutrogena, the pink, pink grapefruit moisturizer. I've already washed my face, so I'm just gonna moisturize my face. Excuse my edges, guys. This is definitely, you know, like a transformation. So these edges will be late later. They just look real crazy right now, but ignore it, please. The audio went out on my camera. I'm really sorry, guys, but I'm gonna do a voiceover instead. Um, I am priming my eyes with my foundation, and then I'm going to set that with Laura Mercier powder. And then I'm gonna go into my Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia, and I'm going to use Burnt Orange as my transition shade. And then I'm gonna use Raw Sienna as my transition shade as well, and just deepen that color. And just blend it out with my Kana brush, my 28 crease brush from Kana. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to go in with warm taupe from the Anastasia palette and just make that crease area darker and deeper. Um, I really, really like this color. It's like a nice, good color to put in your crease. And then I'm going to go into my Makeup by Mario palette and I'm going to use the color Violetta in that crease as well. After I blend those colors together, I'm going to take my NYX glitter glue and put it onto my eye. And then I'm going to put this really pretty rose gold color. I'm sorry I wasn't like in focus for you guys, but um, it's a rose gold color from the Nutcracker Collection by MAC and it's called Star Dream. Moving on to my foundation, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs and the Makeup Forever foundations. The Marc Jacobs foundation is in Golden Light and the Makeup Forever foundation is in Y405. And my reference color for you guys is NC42 by MAC. So that's pretty much the range that I try to stay in. I like the yellow undertone. So I'm just going to um, blend my face with my beauty blah, my beauty blender and then I'm going to um, highlight my face using the in the NARS concealer in custard. I can't talk today for some reason. Blah. Me whole again. I wanna feel like a now. Make me whole again. I wanna feel like you know. Ooh. Maybe if I take these steps and you take two, you'll be fine. Next, I'm going to be taking one of my favorite contour sticks and I'm going to contour my face. This is from MAC. It is the Quick Trick Stick in the color... I can't even remember. I'll put it in the description bar below for you guys. I can't remember the name right now. But yes, it's very blendable. It's really natural to me, for me and my face. I just really like the way that it contours. It's not too strong. It's like just awesome. Now I'm going to set my face using the Laura Mercier setting power. Setting power. Wow, Symphony, I cannot talk today for some reason. I just, guys, I got a lot on my mind. This election really got me just all, all kinds of in my feelings. So I, I'm... Yeah, I just, I, I'm trying. But anyway, I'm just going to set my um, face with Laura Mercier and then move on to contouring my face with some powder. Moving on to contour, I'm going to contour my face using the Black Radiance um, Contour Kit in light to medium. And I'm just going to go around my cheeks and my forehead. And then I'm gonna take the little bit of a darker color um, from that palette and go under my contour line again just to create some definition then I'm gonna take that lighter shade from the contour kit and very lightly contour my nose and then blend it in with my beauty blender taking this blush from Palladio I'm going to just lightly blush my face or give some color back to my face I really like using blushes to add color then I'm gonna move on to my eyes and I'm using the feline eyeliner from Mac to line my eyes and then I'm going to go back into my makeup by Mario palette 
and use the color Violetta on my lower lash line just to kind of smoke out this look. Next, I'm going to use the Feline Eyeliner from Maybelline and line my eyes. I love this liner. It's so dark, very pigmented, and it goes on really, really well. I usually don't like felt tips because they dry out super quickly, but I've had this one for about a month now, and I have to say, guys, I'm really happy about it. Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Moving on to highlighting, I'm going to use this Anastasia Ultimate Glow Kit and I'm going to be using white sand and hot sand mixed together. And I'm using the Sigma Fan Strobing Brush. Um, I'm just going to highlight my nose, my, che my cheekbones, my kind of my forehead on the outside of my forehead. Then I'm going to take the snow color from the Ultimate Glow Palette and go under my brow bone just to give it some extra highlight. Right now I'm using the Tantalizer Spray on tan and a toothbrush and I'm spraying on the spray tan to the toothbrush and then flicking on my face some speckles to create faux freckles and I can say this technique is so much quicker and so much easier and it actually looks really pretty cool um, I like it a lot I don't it's totally optional though you don't have to do this this is completely up to you um, but I like it with this look I think it just looks really nice Next I'm going in with the liner pencil from MAC and it's called In Control and then I'm going to um, fill in my lips with Cool Girl Too Faced. It's one of my favorite, favorite like mauve lips to use. It's so, so pretty. And then I'm going to move on to my hair and I know you guys wanted to see how I wrapped my hair so I'm using Gorilla Snot on my edges to um, kind of just pull them back a little bit so I'm lightly brushing back on my edges. I know it looks kind of harsh but I'm lightly brushing back on my edges. And then I'm going to take my um, scarf that I got from Forever 21 a while ago, like it's been a long time ago I got this. I just like, let me use my scarf to wrap up my hair. So I'm just going to wrap up my hair like so and then tie it in the front like you would tie a shoe. And then I'm going to wait, I gotta wait because I'm going too fast. But yeah, I'm tying it right now. And then I'm going to twist those two ties in the front together and then just put like I got yeah like wrap it in a circle I guess <laughs> and then pull that in together and then stuff my dreads into that pocket that I have in the back and brush out my little baby hairs and we call it a day that's just how it's done hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial be sure to give it a like if you liked it and if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe right now y'all and I'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>